Hi, so today I'm going to be bringing you a video from my other channel called The Lovely Mystery. Tell me what you think about this in the comment section. Uh, would you like for me to bring some of this over here or keep it separate? So take a look. Hi, welcome to A Lovely Mystery, and today's reading is going to be a pick a card, but it's going to be on what's going on in your intimate relationship. So take a moment to look at the three different stacks, and um, you can find the timestamp in the comment section or the description box. So we're going to start with pile number one, and we're starting off with not today. So this is you not dealing with this person. Maybe you two have had an argument, you're not speaking, you're still upset about whatever has happened, and you're trying to hold off on communication, you know, because they did something that you didn't like. Okay, so we have here the Ace of Pentacles. Now, this is a new opportunity here. So you're giving this person another chance. You decided to give this person another chance or you're thinking about giving this person another chance. Um to make things right or to work on the relationship. We had the two of pentacles here. So it's like you're trying to make some choices. You're trying to balance some things out. You're trying to work some things out with this person. You want to give them a, a new chance. Um, and you're trying to figure out like, what do you guys need to do like you want to have a conversation about what do you need to do to make this situation work out. And now we have the King of Swords. So, like I said, you're having a difficult time right now. Something has gone on. You have a, you had a disagreement. Somebody may have overstepped some boundaries or said something or did something that you may not have agreed with but you're thinking about giving this person another chance so you can decide what it is you want to do but you don't want to come in you want to have a, a conversation that's going to make some changes happen that's going to mean something not come in all emotional so you want to come in here with um, an open mind not just an open heart here as well but it's like this person like I said, they may have hurt you in some way because it seemed like this person, they're very blunt about how they communicate. And it's not to be in a hurtful way. It's just how they communicate. There's just, they're just straightforward. They don't beat around the bush. But they're not doing it with any ill intent or to be hurtful. That's just how they are. And it's like you have to balance out who you are and who they are to make that work, to make the situation work. Because otherwise you will always be getting hurt by their words because that's how they are. And maybe you focus more so on your emotional side and they focus more on the um logical or mental side I'm not gonna say logical side but the mental side of it okay 
So here you have the strength card. So like I say, this here is you giving this person another chance. Like I said, this is a new opportunity. However, is this so you can build um, the relationship to be stronger? Okay. You want the relationship to work out. You want it to, to grow stronger. You want it to be a great relationship. Okay. So that's why you're giving them this, this new opportunity. Um, but you don't want to feel like this person is overpowering you. You don't want to feel like this person is taking advantage of you and you're not like your needs aren't being met. Like you don't have a voice. So you're trying to come back in here and balance these things out. And so you can feel like you have a voice in the relationship. Here you have the sun. Okay. So like I said, you're trying to balance things out. You're trying to come to some type of compromise on the stability of the relationship. Like you can handle some things, but it's just like some things this person just crosses over the line with because of how they speak to you, how they react to you versus how you interact with them. And so you want that new beginning, the happiness in the relationship, but you're trying to balance that wanting the happiness in the relationship and also being happy yourself, okay? So you don't want the relationship to be unbalanced and to fall out of balance to where one person is more dominant over the other one or you feel like you don't have any power in that relationship. Okay, so now you have the devil card. And so what this is saying is that you need to um, see why it is that you are allowing this, okay? Because you feel oppressed by this person because this person is so blunt. This person is more into their the mind of things and how things, like the logical part of it, the mental part of it, they're not in their emotions about this. They are in their mind and so you feel as if you you're being overpowered you feel like this person is oppressing you because you can't express yourself without maybe them saying oh you're being too emotional oh you're being this way you're being that way because see they're not in their feelings about everything and that probably is a problem with you because you tend to be in your feelings so you kind of like they say, you wear your heart on your sleeve and you get, oh, you're being all dramatic, but it's just your way of expressing yourself emotionally. And this person doesn't do that. So you feel as if this person is being oppressive to you in the sense that they don't allow you to express how you truly feel without them trying to rationalize everything. Okay. And so, like I say, you've been avoiding this person because you, you feel like they overstep some things or you don't feel heard, um, you don't feel appreciated, but you, all, you also want to give this person another chance to come in and work things out, but maybe you two maybe need to compromise because where they are more into their head, you want them to be more in their feelings, and where you are more in your feelings, they want you to be more in your head, like think about this reasonably, logically, okay? And you want to, them to think about this with your heart. Get in their heart space with this, okay? Because I see you want the happiness here, but that you have that sense of your feeling disregarded, okay? So you need to have a conversation with them and try to be, both of you need to come together and see things from the other person's point of view and how the other person communicate and how the other person deals in relationships, okay? So that is pile number one. So this is pile number two and what's going on in your intimate relationship. And we're starting off with 
the chaser and that is chaser in a codependent relationship fear of abandonment issues okay so you have some things going on you're not securing your relationship um it seems like one person wants uh the other person more than the other person wants them or that's the the way one person feel okay so we starting here with the star card okay so you're not feeling like you're the main focus here okay you're not feeling as if this person is a hundred percent into you you don't feel as if they are um like like they care about you or are they putting you first in the relationship or if they even want to be in the relationship with you fully in the same sense that you want them um but this is the hope of the relationship growing into something more okay and it's like you you want like you're pouring your emotions into this person but you don't feel like they're giving you that same in return here okay and now we have the fool card and so this is like someone is carefree like like i say you you just don't feel as if this person is giving you the same um energy that you're giving them in this relationship so and it and it doesn't mean that that person is not committed to you it's not dedicated to you that's just how you feel okay so because you feel like like i said you feel like you're pouring your emotions and putting your all into this person however they are not doing the same thing in return to you 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 may feel like they just look at you it's just like okay i'm here now um we're just going to see how it goes and if it doesn't go like they they're not putting a lot of effort into the relationship so here you have the four of wands because see this is what you want you want um that like you want a marriage, you want a committed long-term relationship, but you're feeling as if this person is like nonchalant in the relationship. You, They don't really care about staying with like having a long-term commitment. They, they're not looking for a marriage. You're not looking for maybe, maybe they don't show you out like you want them to show you out. Like why we don't go here? Why you don't show me off to your friends? Why you don't do this or whatever? And you feel, like I said, you feel like you're putting more of yourself into the relationship than they are putting into you. Okay. So here we have the five of cups. So, like I said, you're putting all of your emotions, all of your, like you're giving this person your heart. But at the same time, you don't feel as they're, like they care. And it's causing you to be sad. You, you don't feel worthy of it. Like, you feel like they're just going to disregard you or just toss you to the side because they, they're not showing you to where they're investing in you. And, and it's like, I'm wasting my time here. That's what you feel. Okay. And then here we have the Page of Swords. So... It's like, um, you need to learn how to communicate what you're feeling to this person because this person may not even be aware that you even feel this way. Because, like I say, this is how you feel. This has nothing to do with how they feel. This is all you and your fear of being left your fear of being alone okay and you're in your head with this a little bit too much because this person is not giving you the emotional 
intimacy that you want. This person is not all like pouring, over pouring themselves or pouring themselves into you emotionally like you would like or like what you feel they should do. This does not mean this person does not care for you. This does not mean this person is not putting their emotions into you. But you feel as if you're lacking the emotional side from this person. And then you're wondering if this person is really even into you or this person even wants to be there because they're not giving you what you feel as if you need, okay? Here we have the Nine of Swords. So it's like you up here losing sleep over this. But like I say, you need to have a, a conversation with this person to explain to them how you feel. You have this sadness. But like I say, this is in your head. It has not necessarily been communicated. They have not said to you, look, I don't really care about this relationship. I'm just here. I enjoy your company. I'm not looking for anything serious. They have not said that at all. This is you in your in your head feeling this way. Because as the cards say, you have this fear of abandonment. You have this fear that this person is not giving their all into you. And until you communicate to this person what you need from them to be a little bit more secured into the relationship, um, this doesn't mean that this person has to to conform to your every insecurity because of um, how you feel, but this just making them aware of your feelings, okay? It is up to you to do some things about that and to get out of your mind and stop overthinking a lot of things without the communication being there first. But it also means that this allows this person to understand the issues that may come up in the relationship or what you need from them and how... It can help both of you to deal in this relationship because like I say, you want like maybe they don't you don't go out enough and maybe you want to go out more. Maybe you want to be married and, you know, you have it. But you have you communicated this to them. You may have not even said anything and they may they may feel the exact same way. They may feel like you are not putting because you probably haven't even said anything. You probably haven't even said, look, I'm looking for a longer term. I want to see something more with you. Have you said that to them? So, like I say, it has to be a conversation. Instead of being just in your head with it, it needs to be spoken as well so this person can understand what's going on in the relationship. And that will help you to feel and to know where you are in this person's life, what they are looking for for. Uh, what they are looking for as well from you because you could be on the same page but since it has not been spoken no one knows and everybody is just in their head so like I said you're having these issues because you have that fear of abandonment you you may be that person that that it has been missing some things before and you you don't feel like you have the power to speak up for what you want because you fear by you saying certain things or expressing yourself, you will push that person away. And if you do push that person away, that's that means that that person was not for you anyway. Okay, so like I say, you need to deal with these issues. You need to have a conversation with the person as well. So you can discover what, what they want. They can understand what you want. Okay, so this is what's going on in your intimate relationship and this is pile number two. So this is going to be pile number three and what's going on in your intimate relationship, okay? So we're starting out with camera and this means reminiscing keepsake, perception, learn from the past and make memories. Okay, so we're starting out with the three of wands. So, like I say, this is um, learning from the past and also making memories. So you're looking forward into the future with this person. You're looking at how your future may be with this person or like if you want to be with this person long term. Okay, because like I say, this is making memories. So this is like 
you want to um, see how this person fits into your life, but also learning from the past. So this means um, you're putting together things that you have been through in previous relationships and what worked, what did not work, what you need and what you don't need or what you want or what you don't want. Okay, so it's like you're, you're contemplating how to move forward here. And is this something that a relationship that you would like to be in in the long term? And here we have the um, King of Pentacles. And this is, like I say, you're looking for the security in here because you want a long-term relationship. So you don't want to be unstable. You're looking for emotional stability. You're looking for financial stability. You're looking for somebody who is in control, uh, meaning they have themselves together. They're not um, unstable in their emotions. They're emotionally mature. They're financially set. That doesn't mean they have to be rich i mean who doesn't want that but i mean it doesn't mean that this person has to have a lot of money but they they're they're able to handle their their responsibilities okay without struggling on a day-to-day -day basis so you're looking for that security as well and maybe you're provide you have that yourself so you want that from that other person as well okay and here you have the judgment so this is like I say, you, you're trying to see how this person fits into your life. How will this person be in the long run? Because you're looking for, like I say, you're looking for the, the long term here. You're not looking at the, like a spur of the moment or at the moment type of thing. You're looking for a long term relationship with this person so you're trying to um decide on what it is it's like you're reflecting on some things you're, you're trying to see how you fit in their life and how they fit in your life okay so it's like you're trying to see what you need to do here and now we're coming out here with the chariot so you this is like I say, you're, you're trying to make some choices here. Uh, how to move forward with this person. Because here, like I say, you don't want to make the mistake that you made in the past. Okay. You're not looking to repeat old mistakes. Because you have been through some things in prior relationships and you do not want to go through that again. You don't want to have to deal with the same crap over and over. So you're doing, this is a lot of evaluation going on here. Okay. And now we have the moon here with the king of pentacles. So it's like you don't want, you're not in a fantasy world. You understand um, a lot more now. You don't want to be just caught up in the finances. How are they emotionally? You don't want to be just caught up in the emotions. How are they financially? Okay, so you want the stability. You want things. You want to feel secure in the relationship. Okay, before you make that move forward, before you invest any of your time. Is this person worth investing your time, your energy into? Okay. And here we have the five of swords. So you have, it's like an internal conflict here. Or you don't, or is that you don't want to have the conflict in the relationship. You don't want to have to keep repeating things. You don't want to have to keep going back over the same issue. I, oh, I thought we resolved the issue. No, it's still here. You know, you don't want that internal conflict. Or you don't want the conflict with the other person. So you're evaluating the entirety of the relationship you're not trying to be disillusioned just by one aspect of the relationship yes this part is good but what about that part okay they got the money but the uh the emotional part the the um the support is there financially but the support is not there mentally the support is there mentally but the support is not there financially Yes, okay, we have a good intimate relationship, but everything else is crap. So you're not trying to be disillusioned by 
certain like one aspect of the relationship you want the entirety of the relationship to be great not saying that you won't have issues well you will but is it worth is the issues that may come up going to make the relationship worse or is it going to build the relationship to be better because we're all going to have conflict but how do we deal with this? Does the person have the emotional stability or the emotional uh, maturity to handle conflict? Does the person have the financial wherewithal to deal with the financial aspect of the relationship? Or will you have to pull the entire weight? Uh, or will they have to pull the entire weight? Because you don't have that financial stability are you emotionally mature to deal with anything that comes up in the relationship so this is the relationship is it's like you're trying to evaluate the entirety of the relationship because like i say you're you you don't want to repeat things that you've already been through you're looking for a relationship that's going to strengthen you okay and that's just not like i say financially that's emotionally that's mentally that's spiritually that's every aspect of the relationship you're evaluating that what will this person bring besides this okay what would i bring to this person besides just that so you're not getting caught up in the illusions here of the like everything is good when it's good but is everything bad when it's bad can you not come together when things are bad, when you have a conflict, are you being harsh to the other person? Is the other person being harsh to you? Can you sit down and have a conversation about an issue without it turning into a big on full-fledged argument fight? Okay. So it's like you're trying to decide if this person is worth moving on with. Is this person worth it in the long term? Because this is all about the long term. Okay. You're trying to evaluate the long-term ability of this relationship, okay? So, like I said, you are trying to evaluate this person's role in your life. And also, they could be doing the same thing as well. Maybe you, this is you and this person having that conversation about, okay, where do we see ourselves in five years from now? How will we be able to handle certain things down the road? Okay, because we don't want to deal because maybe you um, you two have been through things in the past, not necessarily from past relationships, but from this current relationship. And you're trying to see how things can go for you guys in the future. Okay, so you're evaluating the future of the relationship because of past things that have happened and you're not trying to hold those things over each other head. So if we're going to move forward, are we going to be able to move for, forward without the conflict, okay, that we had prior? Okay, so this is pile number three. <laughs>